Welcome! In front of me I have Fitbit Ace 3 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this smart band with the Android phone. Before we start you will need to turn on your smart band and to do it you need to plug it in into a charger. So basically you need to take a charging cable that is provided with your device, with your smart band and you, you need to plug in uh, the uh, smart band into a charger like this and the charging cable you need to plug in into a charging brick or into a computer. And once the device uh, starts charging, it will turn on automatically. After you turn on the smart band, you should see this on the screen. Basically, we need to uh, download a Fitbit mobile application on our phone to pair the devices. So let's open the Play Store on our phone. In the Play Store, let's tap on the search, type in uh, Fitbit then tap on search and you should see this application Fitbit developed by Fit, Fitbit Inc with this icon now let's tap on the install button to install the app and after the application is done installing you can tap on the open button to open it in the application we need to log in into a Fitbit account you can also create a new account if you need to by type by tapping on join Fitbit. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on login and I'm gonna tap right here, enter, enter the email address and then tap here and enter the password. So give me a couple of seconds. And then we can tap on login to login, of course. After you log in, you should see this page, today page, in the Fitbit application. Now, let's tap on the profile icon right here to open the uh, profile page or account page. And now we need to uh, basically cre create a family uh, in the app so we can connect the device. So we need to tap on my family. I already have a family, as you can see, set up, but you need to set up the family. Basically, you need to uh, set up a guardian and then child because this is the smart band for children so you will need to set up the children a child account and once you set up the family you will be able to switch between the uh, a child view and a guardian view as you can see now we are in the guardian view so we see the app as the guardian so we can basically do everything in the app but we need to switch to the um, kid view ch child view to per the a smart band with our phone, with our Ace 3. So we need to tap on My Family. After you set up Family, of course, tap on Switch to Kid View. And now we have the uh, Kid View in the app. As you can see, we have a lot less options. We can't do much in this view. Now let's tap on the profile icon again to open the profile page or account page for the uh, app. Tap on setup device. Select the Ace 3 for kids. Tap on setup Ace 3 for hard reset or hard reset brother, my bad. And now we need to enter the password to confirm that we are the guardian. So basically we need to enter the password that we use to log in into uh, our main account. So a couple of seconds. And once you're done entering the password, tap on confirm. Now we can scroll down, tap on agree, tap on OK, I did, did it. Basically it tells you to charge the uh, smart band before we start. I charged it so we can tap on OK, I did it. But if you didn't, please charge the device be before you start because this might take a while and if the uh, device uh, loses the power, it might damage it. So make sure to charge it before we continue. Also a good thing to check before we continue is to check if you have the Bluetooth enabled on your phone, because if you don't, you won't be able to pair the devices. So make sure that the Bluetooth is enabled. Okay, now we can scroll down and here we have a couple of things uh, the app wants from us. It wants the uh, 
allocation from permission, as you can see, we have this exclamation point. So let's tap on it. And you have options to allow while using the app only this time or don't allow. We need to allow the location. So let's tap on while using the app. And now we can tap on done. You can also tap on and continue without location, but uh, I'm not sure you will be able to uh, pair the devices if you don't allow the uh, permission. So let's tap on done. Oh, we can't tap on done for some reason. Oh, because it wants the background location from us. So basically we need to uh, tap on here, uh, permission, location, and we need to allow it all the time for the app to work. So if you don't want to allow it for all the time, like the apps want, you can also tap on um, the other option right here, uh, continue without location. But as you can see, I allowed it. You can tap on done. And now the app immediately uh, found our band. We can enter the code from the band to confirm the pairing. Now it's connecting to our phone. And here we have the check mark. That means that the connection is complete. And as you can see, we need to wait still, but the band is already working. Uh, we can already try to use it. We can wake up the screen, scroll through the menu. Okay, the app is catching up as you can see. So let's wait. And once you see this pop-up, tap on the OK to confirm to link the devices. And here we have a tutorial how to use it and we can go tap on next to go through it. If you want to read it, go ahead. I'm just going to skip through it like that. And once you go through the tutorial, you can tap on done. And you should see the ace free right here show up in the account. Uh, or, or rather on the account page. You can tap on it to open the device page for your S3. And at this point, the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair the smart band with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.